Hello my lovelies! So to take a bit of a break from my Bowsette cosplay, I'm going to be working on, I'm sure you can figure out, one that I bought that does not look good on me at all that I thought would just be a fun side project. I found, let me get it right, I found this Harley Quinn piece at that store I got to for five dollars but you have to see the problems with it because it's clearly meant for someone a little <laughs> a little more formally and so this does not fit me well at all and there's also some stuff around the thigh area with it that I don't like that I need to work on so I'm going to put it on to show you what I'm talking about and tell you what I'm gonna change. And then whenever I make alterations, I'll show you an update about how it looks. So give me one second. So this is it. In the front, it's already, you can see it's pretty baggy. And these frills, the only time they like look proper and they look how I'm supposed to is when you, you know, fill out a good bit more than I have. <laughs> And so I am going to sew this neckline. I don't know how exactly, but I want it to be definitely more flattering for my, my small build. And then down here, I'm going to get this further down the show. With this area, right here, it's got extra fabric and it folds in and feels uncomfortable. I don't like it. And I need this to not give me like a unit. You know, I don't like having just one big butt. And on top of that, well, one, this needs to be brought in for sure. It looks a lot better brought in. And then I do not like this text. I've got to alter it because I like Harley Quinn. Don't get me wrong. I really like her. I don't like shipping her with Joker for like obvious reasons. And so I don't know for sure what I'm going to do there. And then up here, I need to bring this waist in better. Try to figure out if I want to bring all the fabric towards the back or the front. I think it looks better when I bring the fabric towards... I don't know. You'll see. Whenever I update it, then we'll know. So, so it's going to be a little bit until you can see an update on this. But when I have one, I also want these to be more poofy. I'm going to do something about that. When I have an update for you, I'll give it, and I'm excited to show you and work on this one. And then I gotta make a video with it, so give me some ideas in the comment section what kind of ASMRs I can make with this cosplay, because I would love to. I also have... I have... This that I want to make into a prop to go with it. And this would be in the ASMR, so any ideas you all have, please let me know. Next time you'll see this is when I'll have an update, so see you soon. Hey, we're in my closet. Weird place, but I wanted to show a bit of an update. That's next then, I guess. First, I have... <laughs> so, I'm probably going to restart this. I was going to do a patch to cover over, like, the pudding part. And put nobody, but... I tried doing cursive and you clearly can tell I don't know cursive and I wanted the O's to be hearts but now it like doesn't look like like anything so I'm gonna probably throw this away get some kind of letter stencils do that all over again but something that did go well so far is the bat so I have holes poked in here where I put little pieces of foam that I'm gonna paint silver to look like uh na nails later ow shit Oh, damn, I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> but anyways, I was worried they would, like, just bend too easy. So I reinforced them with hot glue on this side, which honestly is perfect because it's not rough at all, but it holds its form pretty good. And I even, I bent one out of curiosity how it looked, and I like it. So I'm going to paint over these after I get these done. This took me... <laughs> The hot gluing for these alone took me an hour. So after I can get this top part done and hot glued over, I'll have this bat. And then the patch 
you know what I'm going to do with it now at least, even though I have to completely restart it. So I'll show you guys another update when I sew enough of the outfit together to wear it. And then when the props are all finished up, I'll show that too. So see you soon. I am like a, probably one more week from having really, really like noticeable results where I can wear the whole cosplay and show you. But I figured it's been like 15 hours in. It's starting to come together. I wanted to go ahead and give an update. I'd rather give, you know, an early update that doesn't show a whole lot than keep waiting for, you know, slight changes. But, oh, anyways, the entire cosplay, this, I have re-sewn to fit me prop like better on my body. Most of the work was the chest. Who could, who could have guessed? But I got that done. I have to get this sleeve sewn back on and then it's all done. The patch. I got the patch. It's obviously, it's not done yet, but I did this one instead. This is a draft. It's like got little bits of it hot glued in certain spots to hold it. And then I'm using my sewing needle to go over it and make it better. And I've got sequins and stuff for it. And I have decided. Fuck the joke. I, I love Harley Quinn. Fuck the Joker, though, for real. I was not excited when I saw the back of that cosplay. But, but, I'll fix it. And then I know sh I haven't seen an iteration of her where the bat has spikes like this. What are you telling me she wouldn't? I'm going to go over how I did this. This was a lot of fun. So I got a, I think it does higher up. I, sh I thought back there was a good angle. I just not. But I got this from Dollar Tree, <laughs> the little plastic bat. They've got these in like a bunch of colors. I'm going to paint over it later. I first, you can see right here, this one fell out and then I liked how it looks, so I'm keeping it out. I stabbed holes in there where all these are. And then I'm just clumsy as fuck and I was worried I'd hurt someone using like actual like metal. So I had, um, I poked holes in through it each individual hole which was difficult and then i got pieces of foam and i cut them into thin slivers and i shoved them in with a pick until about one third of it was in here and then i took hot glue and i didn't just glue the base but i glued over the entire thing to make it like thicker and more durable and so it's like ah <laughs> but i can fix that point is no one's gonna get hurt by it, which is what's important to me. This, I can fix. This is gonna take me like 10 minutes max to fix. Honestly, I think you just get glued back on there. Yeah. Oh well. But I'm really excited with how this is going. I even made a bent arrow. Where is that? In that arrow nail. Now they look pretty bad now. I'm gonna file them a bit later and then put silver paint on top. Paint this mostly black put her logo on there some kind of icon for a little special poison ivy girl and then pride flag so i'm liking it so far i think it's gonna be fun oh yeah and then i also i need to style the wig and i need to still finish sewing the shoulder puff pads that make the shoulders like stand hardcore out i feel really bad i don't remember there was something else i was gonna do i was gonna give her some kind of choker and pride makeup if i come up with another idea something i do later i do but right now i don't have it i just wanted this to be like a brief break because brows that's taking me forever and i am mentally drained <laughs> so and i'm having fun with this one i'm actually excited to get back to brows after this cosplay but i am very fucking excited also for you all to find out what my next big cosplay is going to be after brows it was for i'll i'll give minor spoilers it was for something I was waiting for until October. That's when I was going to do the cosplay. And I thought that's a perfect time because I thought something um, was coming out then that's coming out a lot sooner than I expected. And I also have to, ha this will be my first cosplay where a lot of it's 3D printed, so. <laughs> Not the whole thing. Do not get excited if anybody does guess what it is. I'm not going to be doing any of those like highly. I'm not that good. I'm not that good. It takes me like this. This took me too long. I'm not that good. But <laughs> it's 
it'll be fun. I know you'll all enjoy it. It's one of my most popular cosplays I've done before. Yes, I have done it before. I want it for my first few big cosplays I made to be ones I like and I'm passionate about that I want to do better for, you know? And my first pick was, of course, you know, that was it. Now I'm fixing and upgrading this one. Which I don't even know if I ever wore my Harley cosplays online. I don't even remember. But anyways, and then um, I got this upcoming secret one that I'm working on. And I've been doodling some stuff too that you'll be excited about. So once I get this cosplay finished, Bowsette, and then this next surprise one, I'm going to start not showing designs, but like uploading like a poll put the like put three cosplays I want to do and then have you pick and then just as I make them I'm coming up with some really weird creative stuff that I'm hoping you all enjoy so I'm excited to see you guys when I have more to show and I'm especially excited when I have a full cosplay to show an actually good one I've made some in the past but like like you know my glam rock chica I did with the duct tape course that I made like yeah it had boning and stuff but why did I use duct tape I know I was poor and I'm not good at sewing but like you know I kind of want to redo old cosplays like that but then I also want to do new ones like I would I'll go ahead and spoil one of the ones I've been thinking about I have a killer chain shop cosplay idea that I want to show so I'll update you in a bit when I have more to show love you all bye